Hi folks, in this video we're going to take a look at an alternate form for the equation of a line. Okay, so let's look at the two forms that uh, you have been using up until now. Okay, so the one that's probably most common is a slope intercept form, which is great because it has the slope and the y-intercept directly in the equation. Okay, and the other one you would have uh, used would have been standard form, so ax plus by. Sometimes this is written equals c, or it can also be written plus c equals zero. Okay, the form the textbook, uh, I believe, uses. Okay, and this is, you know, certainly useful when you're uh, writing equations in a system of equations. Uh, that form often shows up. Okay, so let's take a look at a particular example. Let's say I have, okay, a line that contains the point uh, 2, 7, okay, and has a slope of 3. Okay, so what you probably would have done in the past is you would have taken this information and input it into the um, slope-intercept form. So here we've got y equals 7, uh, slope equals 3, x equals 2, and then plus b, and then solve for b. So 6, so 7 minus 6 is 1. Okay, so your equation is y equals 3x plus 1. Okay, and if you wanted to put it into standard form, well, you need all the coefficients to be uh, integers, which they are already. So you just bring everything to one side of the equation. So you usually like to have the uh, coefficient of x be positive. So I'll bring the y to the other side. So 3x minus y plus 1 equals 0. Okay, and these are the two forms we've been using. Now this did require, while it was quite easy, it did require us having to solve a simple equation in order to find that b value. Okay, we're going to look at an alternate form where we can just write the equation straight away. Okay, so let's start by using this example here. Okay, so I know that the uh, line passes through 2, 7, and I know that the slope is equal to 3. Because this is a line, the slope is constant, okay, throughout the whole domain. So it doesn't matter which two points I use to find the slope. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say let x, y be any other point on the line. Okay, so given that these two points are on the line, I could use them to write the slope equation. So the slope is 3, and that's going to be equal to our difference quotient, delta y over delta x. So delta y, y minus 7, over x minus 2. Okay, but look what we have now, is we have an equation that relates x and y, okay, which represent any point on the line. So I can rearrange this to get the equation of the line. So if I, you know, cross multiply, so think, you know, 3 over 1, so 1 times y minus 7, so I have y minus 7 equals 3 times x minus 2. Okay, now, if I wanted the equation of the line in, uh, say, slope-intercept form, all I'd have to do is distribute, bring the 7 to the other side. We'll do that in a second. Okay, but this is the form that I want you to look at. This is the form that we're going to be using to write the equation quickly. We see that on the left hand side of the equation I just have y minus whatever the y value of my given point is equals 3, which is the slope, times x minus whatever the given x value is. Okay, So I can do this or use this format regardless of what point I'm given or what slope. Okay, so before I finish this off, let's look at another example. Okay, let's say I have, uh, okay, uh, my point is negative 2, uh, I don't know, 18, okay, and my slope is equal to 0 0.3. Okay, well, let's use this format here. Okay, on the left-hand side, I just have y minus the y value, 18, okay, equals then 0 0.3 my slope times x minus negative 2, which is my x value. Okay, so in the end I could write this as y equals 0 0.3 x plus 2 plus 18. Okay, so I do have it with y isolated. Now, the inconvenient part of this is that it's not in slope-intercept form, so I do have the slope, but the y-intercept would need to be calculated. Okay. What is great, though, about this form is I could go from this line pretty much to that line in one step, or two very short steps. Okay, 
Now let's go back to this original example and make sure that it gives us the same equation as before. So here, if I solve this, so here I've got 3x minus 6, and then this minus 7 to the other side becomes plus 7, and so we have y equals 3x plus 1. So equivalent if I did need to put it in slope-intercept form. Okay, so in general, okay, this part I'd say, you know, hopefully you have the idea already, but if I did want to show this in general, I would say, you know, let x not, y not be a point on the line. Okay, so this represents a specific point on the line, and then x, y be any point on the line. Okay, and we'll let m be the slope, as usual. Okay, so now using the slope equation, I can write m is equal to, well, y minus y naught over x minus x naught. And now if I cross multiply, I have y minus y naught equals m times x minus x naught. And this is one version of the slope, uh, sorry, the point slope form. Okay, so why is it called the point slope form? Because in the equation I can see the slope and I can see a specific point. Okay, sometimes this is written with the y isolated. So that would just be m times x minus x naught plus y naught. Okay, now if you had to remember one of them, I would say this is probably the one to remember because it looks a lot like my slope equation. Okay. So again, if you're just looking for the equation of the line and you don't necessarily need it in a particular form, look how easy it is to write the equation of the line in point slope form. Okay, so this might be something that uh, you want to incorporate and I would accept this on a test. And it is a form that does get used on a couple of occasions for some proofs uh, that you might see in your university calculus class.